Hey everyone, Ruth Hamblin here, and welcome back to my vlog. As you can see, I've made it back to Novosibirsk. I've almost been back for two weeks now already. Time has been flying, it's been absolutely crazy. But had a great time in Edmonton. If you've been following along, you'll know that we went 3-0, and won all three of our games, and qualified for the February Olympic qualifying tournament. So it was mission success, and it was just an awesome time to be in Canada, to play in front of a home crowd, got to see my family, got to reunite with the team, and just kind of check in and see how everyone's doing overseas and hear their stories already. It was pretty awesome. I truly apologize. I meant to make a vlog or two while I was in Edmonton. However, it just went by super fast. And with my family there, I was trying to spend time with them in our rare moments that we had off. So it was just almost impossible, but had an awesome time there. Like I said before, it was really cool to be able to play in front of a home crowd, and especially for me. It's the first time I've played in front of my family since 2016. So that was really special. And also my little nephews were there and got to see me play basketball live for the first time. And so that was just super precious. It was my brother's oldest, Emmett. He was super excited to see me at the game. And so apparently during the whole game, he kept asking, when can I give Auntie Ruth a hug? And so after the game, after we were finished cool down, I went over and gave him a hug. In fact, that moment is actually captured. So let's just watch it for ourselves. So yeah, it was wonderful. Um, it was so fun actually too, because after each game, he'd come and give me a hug and a high five and then I'd take him to high five all my teammates. And at first he was super shy. He was like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, you can do it. You're going to do great. And so he went and gave them all high fives and fist bumps. And it was so adorable. It made my day. I'm pretty sure my teammates all thoroughly enjoyed the cuteness too. And apparently later that first night after he did that the first time, um, when he was saying his prayers with his dad for the night, he was thanking him for all the things like seeing grandma and grandpa, seeing Auntie Ruth play basketball. And then he was like, thank you that I could high five all Auntie Ruth's teammates. <laughs> Just, oh, my heart can't bear it. So yeah, that was super special and it was really great to see the family. And yeah, we qualified for the Olympic qualifying tournament, which in fact, as of last week, the draw has happened. So we will be heading to Austin, Belgium where we'll be facing Belgium, Japan, and Sweden. And so the top three teams of our pool of four will qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And that's like, that's it. That's the opportunity. So super exciting. But until then, got a few months here in Russia to live and thrive. And in fact, for today's vlog, I'm going to go through all the stuff that I brought back with me from Edmonton, had a major shopping spree and got a bunch of essentials. So you'll get to see the things that I need to survive here in Russia for the rest of the season. Let's go. Where to start here? Might as well start with the essentials. Winter boots. Got these, Mark's Work Warehouse. Pair of Tims. This is actually my first pair of Tims ever and they're waterproof and got super thick lining. So they've actually done me well. I've worn them literally every day since returning and my feet are nice and cozy and we've even been down to minus 27. So I say I did a good job with these ones. While I was at Marks, I also found these fantastic, super soft winter socks and they have little mousse on them. Oh, just look at them. Aren't they fantastic? Yes, so my feet will be nice and warm and they make my Canadian heart happy, so. Speaking of socks, I also had to make a quick stop to Roots and restock my Canadiana woolies. Love these things, super warm. They just remind me of home. I also had my mom bring these from home. Hudson Bay makes the best Canada mittens ever and every year they release a new one and I'm addicted to having them. Love these ones though, can't go wrong with the classic maple leaf, although I'm pretty sure you can't go wrong with any of them. I also had my mom bring me this hat. I bought this at Target back when I was in university. Not sure why I thought I needed it then, but turns out I need it now, so it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure it was like $15 too and 
it's very fluffy and warm. The other day I was wearing my knee length puffy jacket and this and I basically looked Russian. So I'm really fitting in out here. Don't worry about me guys, doing great. Fluffy hat for the win. My mom and dad sent their Christmas present for me, with me, wrapped, not allowed to open it. But I have great self-control and this proves it. I mean, I'm also literally like a Christmas purist. Like I hate finding out clues about what my Christmas present is or, you know, shaking things. I was never that kid. I was like, ooh, I just want to be totally surprised when I open it up on Christmas. And also, seeing as I'm gonna be alone on Christmas morning this year, it will be nice to have a piece of mom and dad to know that other people are thinking of me. <laughs> I'm not just alone and sad. I got a new journal because I love journaling and I filled up my other one. And so already well into this one, but very essential. All these blank pages of adventures yet to come. So exciting. Got a new battery for my Whoop band. Actually, I've been wearing this last month because these batteries, as one would assume, are not waterproof, which I knew. And I still accidentally took mine on a swim when we were in Puerto Rico. Oh man, so salty. So, and so have been, been able to charge my band since then. And they don't ship to Russia. Not that I would want to ship it to Russia. So I sent it to my brother and had him bring it over for me. So it worked out well. And now I'm back to tracking my body. Don't know what these are. It's like a heart rate monitor. It measures heart rate variability, heart rate, changes your strain and your rest and your recovery. So it's really useful, especially as a professional athlete. Being overseas, that was the main reason I got it is that I'm basically, well, I am the only person in charge of my body. Be able to manage my rest and recovery and know what my loading rate is and how I need to be looking at that and seeing how my body's adjusting all this travel and stuff. It's very useful. Plus I'm a nerd and I love analytics and numbers and graphs. My brother and sister-in-law also gave me their Christmas present, which I opened in front of them. My sister-in-law knitted me these beautiful little hand warmers. She's seriously so talented. Like you literally couldn't buy nicer ones at the store. So I absolutely love these and I love mustard color. So suits me perfectly. And then I can text and keep my hands warm in this cold Siberian weather. If you haven't already, you should most definitely go check out her Instagram page, MNL Collective. I'll tag it below. She's amazing. And seriously, she started to like make her own patterns and do all this amazing creative stuff. That's just beautiful. So if you appreciate any knitting or like to stay warm, or like any normal human being would, check her out. And then they also got me this book. Bye. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know that I absolutely love these Strange Planet comics by Nathan W. Pyle. So funny, I discovered them earlier this year. Someone posted them on their story and I just got addicted and would read them all and just literally laugh out loud. And basically what it is is they're little aliens from like a different planet who do things that we do, but stated in just like a really obvious way. And they're just so creative and quirky and I truly enjoy them so. And then I went on Amazon and ordered myself a Theragun. I've actually wanted to get one of these for a very long time. And I was debating between this and the Normatec as a recovery modality as a professional athlete. Seems like a worthy investment. I opted for this mainly because it's smaller and a lot more compact and also because I get really tight calves. And so this is kind of one of the only things that actually can release that effectively. And while the Normatec is great, I think this is more important for me, especially since I've had foot issues in the problem and I need to keep my calves loose. But it's, um, what do they call it, percussion therapy. So it's basically a massage gun, very powerful. So, I don't think I've ever actually used it on my biceps before, but use it on my quads, hammies, calves, um, shins, feet, very glutes, definitely glutes, very useful. Then while I was on Amazon, I was like, oh, I should get a travel yoga mat. And so I found this nice one millimeter thick yoga mat. And also literally wasn't even planning on, I was gonna settle for an average human length yoga mat. And this one's 85 inches. So my whole body fits on this for the first time in the history of yoga mats and Ruth. And so that's very exciting. Kind of just a random win-win and it's a great color and it was reasonably priced. So got the new yoga mat and it's done me well so far. I've been enjoying that in my daily routine, as you know. And what would any Amazon shopping experience be without something frivolous that you don't really need, but kind of need? Yeah, so I was looking for a few scrunchies and accidentally bought 60. And when I say accidentally, I mean I intentionally bumped it up from the 24 pack to the 60 pack because it was only like $2 more and it had so many more color options. Um, I think I only have like 20 left because I just gave a bunch of them to my teammates because I had a lot. Because it turns out 60 is a lot of hair scrunchies, but I think I have enough scrunchies for like the rest of my life, so. That's a positive. And now for the food. Actually, before we get there, 
also got this on Amazon. This is a little mini USB blender. So yeah, you can plug it in through USB, which is super handy when your outlets aren't the same in foreign countries. This has worked great for me so far. I mean, it's definitely not like a Vitamix, but it's managed to chop up like the five strawberries that I throw in my smoothie with all my supplements. So I call that a win. Over on the subject of smoothies and supplements, I got some green supplement because the vegetable situation over here is not particularly ideal. And so I figured this would be a good idea just to supplement, get some extra vitamins and such. And fun fact, this stuff is super expensive. So maybe that's not a fun fact, but anyways, yeah. Like 75 bucks for this and it's 60 servings. It's like, dang. Some spruce marine collagen. Stuff's just really good for your hair, skin, and nails. So topped up on my main supplements for the rest of the year, calcium and vitamin D. And as you know, vitamin D, oh, we're just gonna leave that down there. As you know, vitamin D, is going to be very important for me because I ain't going to be seeing the sun a lot in the next five months. So this will be essential. Got some magnesium. It's really important for athletes in their um, muscle and nerve functioning. And also I know when I'm short on magnesium because my muscles start twitching. And so that is essential. Vitamin C and zinc, also essential just for general health. And B100. And then a little dude that we lost here, not really. Supplement just melatonin and not something to be used regularly, but just in the off occasion, you know, after a road trip traveling across four hour to six hour time zones can be tricky and when you need to sleep, you need to sleep. So that's just kind of a nice natural way to hopefully help me sleep when I need it. Got some salad dressings, peppercorn ranch. This is unessential, but a couple more spice mixes. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure why I got this Greek one. It's really kind of a mediocre spice. This one, however, Montreal steak seasoning. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Bought three jars of peanut butter. Um, they do sell peanut butter here. It's in tiny little glass jars and it's the fake stuff with like hydrogenated vegetable oil and other crap like that that I do not enjoy the taste of or want to put in my body. So I've got some just peanuts, peanut butter. This will probably not be enough, but it will suffice until I run out. So much gum yet not enough gum. Tip 10 of these, I'm already down to nine. My two favorite flavors, peppermint, and fresh mints. The gum that they sell here are just the little chiclet things that are rock solid. And by the time you make it chewy, the flavor's gone and it turns into an actual rock. Not sure how it's gonna last. It'll be worth every second that I have to delay having sad rock hard gum. And some protein bars. Two boxes of these RX bars. I love them, super natural, just like egg whites and nuts and dates pretty much. And lastly, the most important thing of this whole video, So I brought two jugs over. As any traveler knows, liquids are super heavy. So if I could have fit more, I would have. But I'm happy that I have these two because I have yet to even see maple syrup over here. They don't know what they're missing out on. <sighs> I hate that I'm such a stereotypical Canadian, but like, have you smelt this? Yeah, so anyways, I love maple syrup. I've got two jars, got a ration all season. I'm not doing a great job so far as an update on that because I've been here for two weeks. And this jug's like already down to here. So you do the math. I'm gonna run out too soon. So if anyone wants to send me a care package, send me some maple syrup. Oh, that's my stash of everything that I toted over back to Russia after Edmonton here. Thank goodness for business class was seriously such a clutch move because you're allowed to have two checked bags. So I came over with one and then stuffed an extra duffel on the way back full of all this very heavy liquid and food and yeah, powder stuff. So I'm very grateful for that because if we had flown economy, I would not have all these wonderful treats to enjoy for the rest of the season. But anyways, that's all I got for you today, folks. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Subject of, oh boy. That is not. Got collagen all over the floor now. Great. <laughs> was reasonably and was reasonably and it was reasonably. I can't speak.